Hi everyone, welcome to chapter 3.4. Okay, we're going to look at very special angles today. We're going to look at obtuse angles and acute angles. Okay, so at this point in time, let me just explain what does the word obtuse mean. Okay, any obtuse angle is between 0 and... Okay, any obtuse angle is between... Okay, so any obtuse is between 0 and 180 degrees. Okay? And the other term that you need to be familiar with is what we call an acute angle. Okay, so an acute angle is any angle that is less than 90 degrees. Okay, so just take this down. Okay, we will be uh, looking at this in a while. Okay, so today's learning objectives will just um, circle around these two formulas you see over here. So sine of 180 degrees minus theta. Okay, if you're not familiar with this symbol here, it is read as theta, okay? It's a Greek symbol, okay? Sine of 180 degrees minus theta is equals to sine theta. And cosine of 180 degrees minus theta is equals to negative cosine theta. Okay, so how exactly we're going to use this? We'll look at a few examples. Okay, example number one. Express the following in terms of trigger ratios of acute angles. So at this point in time, just uh, remind you guys that acute angles means angles that are less than 90 degrees. Okay, so let's look at the first uh, example, um, sine of 110 degrees. So sine of 110 degrees can be expressed as sine of 180 degrees minus 70 degrees. Okay, why do I write it as, as such? Because I want to make it look like the left-hand side of this first formula over here. Okay, so by writing it as such, I will then identify this to be my theta. Okay, 70 degrees is theta. And then I can, okay, using a formula, I can write this as just sine of 70 degrees. Okay, because 70 degrees is just theta. Okay, next example. So we have sine of 98 degrees. 98 degrees can be uh, written as sine of 180 degrees minus 82 degrees. Okay, so once again, let us uh, identify what is our theta over here. So 82 degrees, as you can see over here, theta. Okay, so in this case, 82 degrees is my theta. Okay, and I'm just going to write it as sine of theta, and since 82 is theta, it's just sine of 82 degrees. Okay, let's move on to part C over here. Okay, before we apply the second formula, let me just highlight to you that the formula can be written in another way. If I were to multiply negative 1, okay, to both sides of the formula, what will happen? It will then look like this, negative cosine 180 degrees minus theta is equals to positive cosine theta. Okay, so just take note how this can be written. Okay, so once again, let us just try to uh, write this in the form of 180 degrees minus a certain angle. So 99 degrees is equivalent to 180 degrees, okay, minus 81 degrees. Okay, and using the first formula, Cosine of 180 degrees minus theta is equals to negative cosine theta. So this is just negative cosine. And in this case, my theta is 81 degrees. So negative cosine 81 degrees. Okay, so moving on to the last example. Cosine of 107 degrees can be written as cosine of 180 degrees minus 107 degrees, sorry, minus 73 degrees, okay, 73 degrees. And in this case, okay, in this case, my theta is just 73 degrees, okay? And finally, I'll just write my final answer as negative cosine 73 degrees. Okay, let's move on to the next example. Okay, in example number two, we are asked to find, or rather, to find theta. Okay, we're asked to find theta for this range, okay, 0 to 180 degrees. So this means that we are asked to find the obtuse 
angle theta. Okay, the obtuse angle. Okay, so looking at this first uh, first part of this example, let us just recap. Okay, that to find theta, I will have to take sine inverse. Okay, to get rid of this sine, I have to take sine inverse on both sides. Okay, you learned this in the earlier part of this chapter. So theta, so theta, okay, so part A for theta is just sine inverse of 0 0.4. Okay, how do I press this in a calculator? Let me just show it to you over here. So I'll just pull out my calculator. So I'll press the second function or, or the, the shift button followed by the sine, okay, to get the sine inverse out. Okay, open brackets, 0 0.4, close brackets, equals. Okay, and I'll have this angle, okay, I'll have this number over here. So for angles, we will always round off to one decimal place, which is 23.6. Okay, so 23.6. So this will give me approximately 23.6 degrees. Okay, take note that for sine, okay, for sine, in this range of 0 to 180 degrees, there will always be two answers. Okay, say again, there will always be two answers. Okay, the first answer will just be whatever that you press in your calculator. Okay, and the other answer will be 180 degrees minus the answer that you get from the calculator. Okay, why is it that we have two answers? Okay, as, as of now, um, don't be too bothered by this issue. You will learn in, in your additional mathematics, okay, about the uh, ASTC diagram. Okay, for now, yeah, just uh, don't be bothered for, by this issue first. Okay, so solving this, I'll get 23.6 or 156.4 degrees. Okay. Okay, let's do another example, but we'll do uh, an example for cosine. Okay, so in part B, cosine theta is given as negative 0 0.925. So to get uh, theta, we will just take cosine inverse, cosine inverse of the number that I see over there. Okay, 0 0.925. Okay, and rounded it, rounding this off, I will just get um, 157. 0.7 degrees okay um, yeah for this value just press it into your calculator okay take note that for cosine there will only be one answer so I'm done okay over here and I'm just gonna write that I've rounded this off to one decimal place okay same for the example previously okay now in part C take note that we are dealing with the sine function in this range of 0 to 180 degrees so we will have two answers Okay, so theta will be equals to sine inverse, 0 0.952, okay, and this can be rounded off to 73.3 or 180 degrees minus 73.3, okay, and uh, if I press this in the calculator, I'll get 73.3 or 107.8 degrees, okay, and this is to one decimal place. Okay, for the last example, let me just clear the screen. Okay, in part D, cosine theta is given as such. Okay, so to get theta, I'll just take cosine inverse, okay, of zero point, negative 0.61. Round this off, pressing this in the calculator, I'll just get this answer to one decimal place. Okay, so for the last example, maybe just let me just pull out the calculator to show you once more. Okay, so for the cosine function, to get in order to get your cosine inverse, press the shift button, press the cosine button to get your cosine inverse. Okay, open brackets, negative 0.61. Okay, close brackets and press equals, and you will see this answer over here. So just round this off to one decimal place and you will get uh, this, ans this answer, 127.6. Okay, let's move on. In example number three, um, we are dealing with a, a slightly longer version, okay, and this is potentially a, a, an exam or a test question. 
Okay, so first and foremost, let's read the question. You have a right angle triangle ABC. You're given that AB is 3cm, BC is 4cm, and you're asked to find AC. Okay, at this point in time, the easiest way to find AC would just to uh, is just to apply Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so by Pythagoras theorem. AC square is equals to AB square plus BC square. Okay, so I'm just going to substitute in the values, which is 3 square plus 4 square. And if I were to work out my AC, square root of 3 square plus 4 square, I'll just get 5. 5 centimeters. So let me just indicate over here that this is 5. Okay, so that solves, that solves part A. So part A, AC is just AC equals to 5 centimeters. Okay, let's move on to part B, the sine of alpha. Um, just in case you've forgotten, sine of alpha, sine of any angle is equivalent to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay, so in this case, with reference to angle alpha, this side will be my opposite, this side will be my adjacent, and this side will be my hypotenuse. Okay, so the sine of angle alpha is opposite over hypotenuse, so it's just 3 over 5. Okay, moving on, part C, the cosine of alpha. So if you have forgotten, cosine is just adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so adjacent is 4, hypotenuse is 5. Okay, and that's it. Okay, moving on, sine theta. For exam for questions part D and part E, we will be using the formulas you see on the top left hand corner of the screen. Okay, so sine of theta, sine of theta is equivalent, okay, to sine of 180 degrees minus theta. Sorry, minus theta. Okay, and just take note over here that in this example, how is uh, how are alpha and theta related? Realize that alpha plus theta gives you 180 degrees. So theta is equivalent to 180 degrees minus alpha. Okay. So if you if you look over here, if you look over here with me, sine of 180 degrees minus theta. Okay. If it, if it's not clear to you, maybe I'll just uh, write this uh, like that. 180 degrees minus theta. Is equivalent to alpha okay so that that you know that is also true so over here sine of theta is equivalent to sine of 180 degrees minus theta using the first formula and then sine of uh, and then 180 degrees minus theta is just alpha okay so this is equivalent to alpha and sine alpha we found earlier in in uh, part b so sine alpha is just three fifth okay and you're done Okay, last part, cosine alpha, cosine theta. So take note that cosine theta is equivalent to is equivalent to uh, negative. Okay, or maybe I, I should write this. I, I should write this first. So cosine theta is equals to negative cosine one hundred eighty degrees minus theta. Okay, why is this so? Using the second equation, multiply both sides of the screen by negative both sides of the equation by negative one, and you will get this expression that I see here. Okay, and 180 degrees minus theta is just alpha, so you get negative cosine alpha. And finally, realize that cosine alpha is just four fifth. Okay, so you will get negative four fifth. Okay, and that's for part E. Okay, so I think we've come to the end of the three examples. Just to summarize, okay, these are the two important formulas dealing with obtuse angle. So let me just remind everyone that obtuse means that the angle, okay, the angle that we're looking at is between 0 degrees to 180 degrees. And the word acute means that the angle is less than 90 degrees. Okay, so I think we'll end here for, for today's video. See you in the next video.